Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of analytical chemistry in English. Okay. In our last lecture, we have seen the questions based on polarography from the GATT exam. I hope you will like that video. And now in this lecture, we are seeing some more questions from the polarographic technique and these questions are from CSIR net exam. Okay. So see here, what is the question? First question is from December 2016. What is the question? The correct statement for DC polarography is, we have given four different options. First option is E half is concentration dependent. Second option is dropping mercury electrode is a macro electrode. Third option is limiting current is equal to diffusion current. And fourth is a large excess of supporting electrolyte eliminates migration current. Okay. So we comes to each of the statement one by one. Firstly, see what is given to us. E half is concentration dependent. What is E half? E half we know is the half wave potential. Okay. If you know about the E half, if you have seen the lecture, you know this is the half wave potential. And it is the characteristic of a particular ion. It depends only on that particular ion irrespective of other factors. It means it will not depend on temperature. It will not depend on concentration. It will not depend on the nature of electrode surface. It only depends upon that particular ion. Okay. This is the characteristic of that particular ion. Okay. So it is concentration independent. It means option number A is wrong. Now see, we have given an option number two, dropping mercury electrode is a macro electrode. Macro electrode means a large sized electrode. But if you have seen the lecture, you know dropping mercury electrode means this is the capillary on which a tiny drop of this. This is the tiny drop of the mercury. Okay. This is the tiny drop of mercury that is hanging from this capillary. So this is a very minute drop. So it is not acting as a macro electrode. Actually, it is a micro electrode. So it is behaving as a micro electrode. So this option is also wrong. Now see what is given to us. Limiting current is equal to diffusion current. Limiting current. Limiting current means the maximum amount of current. What is the limiting current? Limiting current means the maximum amount of current at which rate of decomposition becomes equal to rate of diffusion. So actually it is not equal to the diffusion current. Okay. This is the maximum amount of the current. So this option is also wrong. Now see the last option. What is this? A large excess of supporting electrolyte eliminates migration current. Okay. So this is the basic purpose of the supporting electrolyte. We are using a large amount of supporting electrolyte. Why? Because we want to eliminate the migration current. Okay, so we are taking the supporting electrolyte. So this option is actually the right statement. If you want to see the more details of this, then you can see our lecture. I have given all the details that you need in the lecture. Okay, let's see the next question. All right, now see the next question from June 2015. What is the question? Consider the following statements regarding the diffusing current at dropping mercury electrode. We have given four options. First is it does not depends on rate of mercury flow. It depends on dropping time. It depends on temperature. Okay. And we have to find out the correct statements. Right. So if you know the Elkovic equation, what is the Elkovic equation? I have already told you. ID is equal to 607 and d to power half c m to power 2 by 3 t to power 1 by 6. Okay. So this is the equation. Now you can see that it depends upon the dropping time. Right. It is depending upon the dropping time. This is the dropping time. And it also depends upon the temperature. Okay. It depends upon temperature. Why? Because this is 107. Actually, this is a constant value. And in this constant value, we have already taken the temperature unit. Okay. In this term, temperature is also involved. That is constant. So we have taken here 607. But actually, it is depending on the temperature. And third thing, it also depends upon the mercury flow rate. It is depending on the mercury flow rate. And here we have given it does not depends upon the mercury flow rate. So this option, option number A is actually wrong. 
ऑप्शन नंबर बी एंड सी आर राइट ओके इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द मरकरी फ्लो रेट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइम एंड इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टेम्परेचर सो ऑप्शन नंबर बी एंड सी इट मीन्स ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज द राइट आंसर लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिसंबर टू वट इज द क्वेश्चन इन ए पोलेरोग्राफिक एस्टिमेशन द लिमिटिंग करेंट हियर लिमिटिंग करेंट इज इन माइक्रो एम्पियर ओके दिस लिमिटिंग करेंट इन माइक्रो एम्पियर वर 0.15, वन पॉइंट सिक्स इन मिली मोल्स ऑफ पीवी सेकेंड्स वर 0.0, पॉइंट जीरो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट जीरो सोल्यूशन ऑफ पीवी सेकेंड गिवस लिमिटिंग करेंट ऑफ थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव माइक्रो एम्पियर ओके नाउ द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ पीवी सेकेंड इन अनोन सैंपल इज we have to find out the concentration of pb second okay we have given the values of id diffusion current and at that diffusion current we have also given the concentration terms right we have given the ids and we have given the concentration terms and one thing we know that this diffusion current depends directly on the concentration it is directly proportional to concentration so we can write id1 upon id2 is equal to c1 upon c2 we can write it right now we can take one of the diffusion current terms suppose we are taking this 0.15 micro ampere then for this value our value will be 0.0 okay we can take it right similarly we can take another value like if we are taking 27.15 then our value will be 3.0 okay Similarly, we have to find out what is the value when the current is 13.65. So one value we are taking from the known, and other value we will take in from the unknown, right? So suppose we have taken here 27.15 divided by 13.65 microampere, and here concentration when 27.15 microampere is current, then the concentration is 3 and 3 millimoles. Okay. and here we have to find out the concentration c2 so it is quite easy c2 will be equal to 13.65 into 3 divided by 27.15 so you are getting the value 1.508 milli moles okay so 1.508 this will be your answer option number d okay option number d is the right answer so in this way you have to do the questions based on the polarographic technique meets you in the next video with some more questions if you want some more question you can comment me i will make more videos on the questions of the analytical chemistry thank you